Hey guys, what is up? Red Pen Mining here. How guys all doing? Hope you're doing really well and have a really great day. In this video, I want to go through all of the different GPUs that have come about this year and just figuring out which one is like the most efficient and maybe the dollar hash, you know, comparison, you know, which one is the best buy in terms of the hash rate that you're paying for. And just going through all the different numbers here, I have the up-to-date hash rates, power consumptions that I have seen through my eyes. I'm just going to start off with a little disclaimer here. Prices, hash rates, power consumption may vary from GPU to GPU, so my numbers shown in this video may not pertain to you exactly. This is just a general set of numbers that I've taken based on what I've seen through my eyes just recently. It is October 27th of 2021 as of recording this video. Okay, guys, so... Any number you see here, it's just like like an average general number that I've seen on videos and I do have some credits here and you guys can access this document down below, Google Doc down below. This is my like 30 series and AMD card hash rate. Uh, you guys can see this at the very, very right uh, Google Sheet here. Okay, anyways, guys, I have a lot of stuff to talk about. This is going to be a decently long video. I have some like food for thoughts regarding the A2000s and all that kind of stuff. I, I just have a lot to talk about, but I just want to go through first the prices of these GPUs right now. Okay, so these are just prices I just generally got off uh, eBay, Newegg, and uh, if we're talking about the A2000s, I was able to get a confirmed price on Alibaba for $500. Now, in USA and Canada, like these A2000s have definitely gone up in price just recently. So I don't think they're, you're, you're going to find $500 ones in the USA or in, nor in North America. I have now been seeing prices upwards of $600 to $700, but it still makes this GPU like still one of the most efficient GPUs ever because it can achieve 41 mega hash at like 66 watts. According to the software, I'm pretty sure at the wall, I think, which which I've seen some numbers now, thanks to Dizzy Mining, uh, he's another YouTuber, you guys should go check him out, I'll have a link down below, he was able to achieve, like, yeah, 66 watts in the software, so, and you guys all know it, like, NVIDIA cards, they are pretty much mostly true at the wall as well, so according to what they're saying in the software, they're pretty good, and so the system total here, I decided just to add, like, you know, 35 watts, that includes the motherboard, CPU, RAM, maybe inefficiency of the power supply. This is just general number that I took from another GPU testing videos that I've done. So just take that with a grain of salt. We'll talk about efficiency later. I just want to talk about price right now. So yeah, really good. 41 mega hash. Now, if you were to compare that to like a, you know, a 6600 XT, I've been seeing 6600 XTs now for, yeah, they've been going for like 700 bucks averaging on Newegg. So yeah, they're, you know, they only achieve about 32 mega hash at about uh, 44 watts software, but we all know realistically at the wall, they take a little bit more. AMD cards are normally like that. So I would say maybe another 10, 15 watts more, 20 watts at the most maybe for the 6600 XT. So maybe 60 to 70 watts for the GPU at the lower end, maybe 80 watts at the higher end. I put higher end at 80 watts here. Anyways, you guys are going to hear me transition a lot to just talking out of my head regarding what I know in my head so far regarding all these different GPUs. Okay, next one I want to talk about is the RTX 2070 Super. Now, the 2060 Super and also RTX 2080, they can they can achieve the same hash rate, roughly, you know, 44 mega hash, between 92 to 100 watts, and then at the wall, yeah, around 100 watts or so. And I remember doing a video way back regarding the HiveOS Absolute Core Clock, and I had a 2070 rig, RTX 2070s, they weren't supers, but RTX 2070s, achieving around 90 to 100 watts on those RTX 2070s, and they were incredibly efficient, super, super efficient. Now, looking at the uh, dollar per hash, you can see here it's about fifteen ninety one. OK, if you go on eBay right now, you can see them selling for averaging about seven hundred dollars. So it makes these RTX 2070 Supers an amazing buy. But there's one thing you should worry about the 2070 Supers is that they are not that efficient on Ergo or Ravencoin compared to other GPUs. Okay, so just be mindful of that. But these RTX 2070 Supers are great for mining Ethereum at their efficiency level at this moment. Okay, anyways, going along, next one is the 3060 Limited LHR V1. 
So these are actually not that bad on eBay. They're I, I've been seeing them for like around 800 to 825 used okay so you just buy it on ebay and you guys know these ones the the, the version ones all right 3060s were able to achieve 50 mega hash using the nvidia developer driver right in windows of course you had to do it in windows and the power consumption was really good right about 112 watts so in terms of the the dollar per hash right now it's pretty good only 16 bucks per mega hash which make these cards you know an interesting buy but you know there are some things where you got to have a motherboard that uh, you got to have at least x8 PCIe slot right you're not going to put them on uh, risers because if you do then you're only going to be able to achieve about I think 37 mega hash maybe up to 40 mega hash but you have to use mini z minor uh, in hive os so yeah these numbers here are meant for if you're using it in windows using the motherboard with the x8 pcie slot at least and then uh, the nvidia developer driver in windows all that stuff okay next up is the a4000 16 gigabyte card and i forgot to put the a2000 is 6 gigabyte here uh, vram so yeah these are probably out of nowhere a lot of people have been talking about it i knew this information for a while i was waiting to get one but i haven't got my hands on one yet until but i'm gonna talk about it now i actually personally have not tested one myself but i have seen hash rates here and thank you to alchemy on my discord my master mod he was able to achieve about 63 mega hash on the a4000 at about 118 watts in the software about 140 to 150 watts total including a motherboard and so this one in terms of the dollar per hash makes it one of the most desired cards right now in my opinion due to the vram okay 16 gigabyte and uh it's this is basically an rtx 3070 non lhr Okay, I just wanted to mention that, but the non-LHR 3070 only has 8 gigabytes of VRAM. Okay, so I'm just going to talk about like VRAM stuff, DAG size stuff later on. Anyways, 1300 bucks for the A4000s right now, roughly. I, I've seen some for like 1200 1250 depends where you buy them. This is just a number I, I took off cdw.com that uh, showed some availability. I, I'm pretty sure they had like a probably tons of pre-orders right now anyway, but that's where I saw it for the price. Now, a surprising GPU that has come on this list at number six in terms of the price per hash is the 3060 Ti LHR, okay? So I know that there are different uh, 3060 Ti's out there, um, depending on Hynix or Micron memory or something. I think they're all Hynix memory, but uh, some people can achieve max 37 mega hash that, that I've seen. And then there's some that can achieve 42 mega hash at uh, like 125 watts, 165 total. And yeah, this this makes this GPU, if you can get it for 900 bucks around there on Newegg, uh, that makes that the dollar per hash pretty close. But to be honest, you know, talking about the rest of the GPUs in this lineup here from 6 to, let's see, pretty much 6 to 13, it's like a dollar and 50 cents off here. So the the RX 6700 XT and the 6800, even the 6900 are grossly overpriced right now, in my opinion. I, I'm gonna talk about that later, but yeah, you guys can see, I'm not gonna go through the rest of them here, but uh, actually the CMP 170HX makes it the worst dollar per hash here at $31.25, $5,000 GPU. You guys know the CMP line from NVIDIA, which I highly recommend not buying because it's terrible. I got a 30HX that I reviewed on the channel and it was it's just a horrible, horrible GPU. I do not recommend it. Uh, just I don't recommend anyone to buy any CMP line GPU. I would actually like un, like as unfortunate as these prices that we're seeing right now uh, for GPUs, right? Completely inflated compared to like a year and a half ago. The A4000s or the 3070 non LHRs are probably one of the top two GPUs that I would buy, but there is some resale considerations regarding the workstation cards, okay, which uh, I will talk about in a sec. So yeah, you guys can see this list here, the dollar per hash. Now I wanted to go through the hash per watt, okay, now this is a, this is one where maybe some of you guys are maybe worried about the efficiency of your graphics cards, right? So maybe, you are into buying the CMP cards and uh, you're going to get the most efficient uh, hash rate and the power consumption out of a 170HX. Okay, now next one up, runner up, is the A2000. 
6 gigabyte card, okay? And uh, obviously we know why, because 41 mega hash at like 66 watts, which is utterly amazing, makes it up at the second place here. But you can see here, the 170HX is definitely like 20% better than the A2000. So you guys can see that. But the price, the 170X was at the very bottom, the bottom barrel in terms of the uh, dollar per hash, which is, it was just horrible, just horrible. But it is the most efficient GPU for mining Ethereum at this moment. But in my opinion, buying it at that price, it, uh, it just doesn't make sense. And then third place is the A4000. I, I would say, yeah, they, this is the, the 3070 non alley char is also on this list. I would say they're pretty much the exact same in terms of efficiency. We're like a percent off, really close. Uh, the A5000 though, coming in at fourth place here, does about 100 mega hash at 209 watts. So it looks like this A5000 is a little bit, you know, more efficient than a non LHR 3080. Okay, the A5000 is basically a non LHR 3080. Uh, if that makes sense, but it looks like it's maybe more optimized potentially. Okay, and then we got the 6600 XT at seventh place here. Really efficient GPU. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the 6600 XT. I think I could still actually recommend people to buy this GPU now because it's eight gigabytes of VRAM and it does really good on mining Ravencoin. Okay, I haven't seen the Ergo hash rate. I think I have, but it's not as great comparing it to other NVIDIA cards. These are great on the like Prog Pow variant coins. So uh, that which there are a few out there like Firo. Firo just moved to uh, the Firo Pow algorithm. So it makes these 6600 XTs quite desirable to a lot of miners, including myself, including myself. Okay, I'm not going to go through the rest of these. You guys can see that, you know, the percentages here, the hash rate uh, efficiency, it goes down and down and down as we go down here uh, in terms of, uh, you can see that all the LHR cards are definitely not efficient on mining Ethereum. Of course, though, they are amazing at mining other algorithms, Ravencoin, Ergo, what have you. Uh, I don't have that here, but I am going to make another video regarding the Ravencoin and Ergo hash rates, and uh, I'm hoping to do other ones as well uh, for the LHR cards specifically, and just seeing the efficiency on those uh, compared to all the other ones that I have here. Uh, the reason why I'm doing Ethereum, I don't think I mentioned it, is just because Ethereum is the most profitable coin right now, and uh, it's probably going to be up until the merge, okay, for the next eight to 12 months, you know, we don't know when, you know, the exact date the merge is going to happen, but I think everyone and their dog right now is is mining ethereum so that's that's just the thing here so uh, in terms of you know breaking even on your gpus within that time frame begs the question right but uh, i think a lot of people are buying gpus for ethereum at this moment and maybe thinking about the future so now for the rest of the video i i just want to give some food for thought here you know regarding ethereum and all that kind of stuff so first things first is the a2000s since these are you know just recently came out a lot of hype and a lot of people want to buy these because they are super efficient and they do great on other coins just fine like really good on ravencoin actually for such low power consumption they don't require a pcie power on the gpu it's just it's just all by riser power so uh, 75 watts i think max the thing is though with this gpu it only has six gigabytes of vram so for me I recall, you know, there there are coins out there that have, you know, DAG sizes or just VRAM requirements higher than six gigabyte. Okay, certain ones I can remember is like Grin, uh, Kakadu thirty one, Kakadu thirty two. Uh, I don't think those those coins are even profitable anymore at the moment, anyway. But you know, there was a time when there's a few coins that required at least eight gigabytes of VRAM, so it would render these A two thousands useless on mining those coins that uh, have higher requirements on the on the VRAM. So just being mindful of that, I'm not saying that the A2000s could be unprofitable in the future. I'm not quite sure. It's just dependent on the DAG size of certain coins, okay? So Ethereum, yeah, it's not going to hit the 5 gigabyte until October of 2022, 6 gigabyte by 2024, but we all know the merge is coming in the next 10 months, apparently, unless it's going to be delayed. Not quite sure, but you can see here, Generally, all of the ETH hash type of coins, even Ravencoin, right? November 2026 is when they'll hit the six gigabytes. So the A2000s will still be good to mine Ravencoin up until an another 
four years around there. Okay, if I did my math there correct. But yeah, Ethereum Classic can go up until 2032. And uh, Ergo, Ergo up until May 2026. So a good maybe three years or so. Yeah, another three years or so. So yeah, just be mindful of the VRAM requirements and certain coins that uh, are where you would need higher VRAM to mine those. Next one is the resale value of the A2000s or maybe even the resale value of the A4000s or any of those workstation uh, quadro. I don't think they named them quadro is at the A there. But yeah, these cards are not like gamer cards, you know, so I was thinking of down the road, right? When people are thinking about resale value, do people care about that, right? Do people care about that? Is that going to matter though? Is that going to matter to you? Because maybe you're going to keep these A4000s for a long time because they're 16 gigabyte. And so they'll have the ability to be ver very versatile in mining all of the other proof of work coins, basically. And, uh, but maybe you're worried about resale in the next three to five years or something. So maybe it would make sense to spend that extra hundred bucks, 200 bucks to buy the 3070 non LHR. Right, you can see here six on the list here. I've been seeing them roughly for about fourteen to fifteen hundred bucks on eBay. Is it worth to spend that extra bit instead of buying the A four thousands, which has you know again VRAM requirement sixteen gigabytes versus the eight gigabyte on the on the thirty on the thirty seventy non LHR? They're the exact. They're pretty much the exact same GPU. They they achieve the same hash rates, but the price is a little bit different. And so, does that make sense for you guys? Right, that's one. Just a food for thought to think of. Okay, next food for thought is any GPU is profitable right now. So does it even matter what we're talking about? All of all of this all of this stuff here, does it even matter, guys? Efficiency, you know, the dollar per hash. It's you know, it's all really profitable right now, right? Any GPU, even a, a an R9 384 gigabyte card, uh, like a nine or eight year old GPU is profitable right now because the prices of the coins are so high. And has gone up much higher than the network hash rates on all of those proof of work coins. There's just not enough hardware out there to garner all of the the profitability of those coins, if that makes sense. So yeah, it's yeah. So that's why it's just so profitable. Now the next thing, uh, food for thought, is the availability of LHR GPUs. So sure, we're talking about Ethereum, okay? But if you are thinking about, you know, down the road, you know down the road when Ethereum, the eventual move off to proof of stake, right? Turning off proof of work. These will render any, you know, all of these efficient GPUs that we've been talking about, just probably going to level the playing field because these LHR cards are totally fine on mining Ravencoin, Ergo, any other coin out there, just fine. So thinking of, you know, potential opportunity costs there, you know, that since these are readily available, I see all of the LHR cards in stock on Newegg constantly. More so than obviously like 3090s, 6600 XTs, obviously the A4000, A2000s now. You know, these GPUs are abundant in my opinion. The LHR cards are very abundant. So you're going to have to think about, yeah, just because they're available, but in the future, are they going to make sense? Okay, so yeah, I think I just answered this one here. And then buying 3090s, you know, are you guys maybe... I have been seeing 3090s in stock. There's not a lot of people... Well, there is a lot of people buying them, but uh, if you're rich, obviously. But uh, they're kind of like the middle ground in terms of efficiency. Um, maybe, yeah, better than a uh, 3080 non-LHR or maybe the 6800 or 2070 Super. Now, some people may think about like Red Panda, the, how is that possible? Uh, the 3090 is a little bit more efficient than the 3080 non-LHR. And so recently I did a test on the new Team Black Miner. I am going to have a video about that. Um, and uh, actually, I think I can get 104, 102 mega hash on the 3080 non-LHR. So that's something I, yeah, maybe I'm going to have to change that. But generally, they're pretty close. Inefficiency. So I, I just wanted to reiterate that these GPUs, uh, the non LHR 3080, you can't really buy anymore unless you're buying the Founders Edition one from Best Buy. But like the you know the AIB branded 3090s, <laughs> they they go for a lot, like three thousand dollars. But if you can get the fifteen hundred dollar Best Buy Founders Edition, that's like the best score in the world. Okay, next one, guys. Uh, LHR GPUs are not efficient for Ethereum mining now, but will do just amazing on other coins after Ethereum. And I think I answered that before, but the answer is yes, <laughs> yes. The LHR GPUs are great 
after mining Ethereum, dependent on profitability, if any of you guys care about that, but I'm going to talk about that in a sec. Next one, buy AMD RX 6000 cards. I'm going to say right now, uh, the 6600 XT, dependent on what the price are those that you can get them at, is a great buy. But the 6700, maybe 6800 XTs are not a great buy right now. They go for like 1600 bucks on Newegg and you can only achieve like 61 mega hash on those. And I, I just, you know, they're great for mining. Don't get me wrong. They're great for mining now. But uh, when it comes to worrying about your efficiency in the future, is it going to make sense? Would you rather have, I don't know, 3090s, 3080s, 3070s? I would rather buy the 3070 for 1400 non-LHR versus a 6800 for 1600 on Newegg right now. And uh, you get more versatility on the 3070 non-LHR versus a 6800. The 6800 RX cards, they, they, are, they mine other coins okay, just not as efficient as these GPUs, which you can get for a little bit cheaper. If that makes sense. Okay. Next one, guys, is uh, worry about efficiency now or down the road. If crypto, you know, price decides to tank, you'll want to stay competitive. So this is going to go with kind of the availability of LHR cards. And so the availability part, yes, it's hard to buy GPUs, like, but more so the LHR cards, but you can purchase the non LHR cards still on eBay. So thinking about, you know, down the road, do you guys care about efficiency? So I, I showed you guys the percentages here as we go down, but it looks like the A2000, A4000s, 3070 non LHR are great buys right now, as of right now, due to the profitability. So does the, are you worrying about just, you know, about your efficiency down the road, depending on your expenses, your electrical costs, whatever, all that stuff. Is it going to make sense for you to hold on to these non less efficient GPUs, right? Because, you know, depending on the network hash rate, depending on how many people are going to leave, you know, the, the market, the prices of the GPUs, profitability, whatever. Is it going to make sense for you to keep those inefficient cards and maybe should have maybe focused on getting efficient cards? So, that's one thing I've, I've been thinking about actually selling off my old cards pretty soon. Anyways, next one, guys, is who cares about Ethereum future? Doesn't matter what GPU you buy now for mining because the profit now strategy, like, are you selling every day? Okay, so like every GPU right now, like I said before, is profitable. So if you are able to, if you're selling every day and getting that profit fiat out, then great, right? You're making money. Your strategy is to get your money back as soon as possible and maybe just get that residual, you know, passive income and you're not holding for long term because uh, you're just, you just want to make that money that you can now versus, you know, you, the potential that you can make more by hodling the coin. Uh, that's just a strategy, right? Not financial advice. Anyways, uh, maybe you have free electric, right? Maybe you have free electric and so it doesn't matter what GPU you, you, you buy right now. It's, it, this efficiency thing doesn't matter if you have free electric, right? And I know there's some people out there I've seen in the comments, I got free electric, it doesn't matter to me, my expenses are low, I can buy any GPU out there and it'll work for me, which is great. That's great for you. Not everyone can be in a situation like you, man. Everyone's situation is different and I, I think I, I try to say that as much as I can because I've seen so many different comments out there that depending on your situation, you know, if you can do this or do that, yeah, you know, yeah, it's... It's never ending, guys. It's never ending. Anyways, last part here, uh, able to pay for your expenses while for a while until the next bull run. So yeah, like it doesn't matter what GPU you buy that you're able to just mine with every single GPU you have in your arsenal. Uh, maybe you got, you know, very cheap electric, two cents electric, you know, cheap expenses, all that kind of stuff. It doesn't matter what, what hardware you're mining with because you're just making, you're able to make money. You're able to make a profit every single day and it's just like you're just laughing all the way to the bank there's definitely a lot of you guys that don't have cheap electric and uh, i feel for you right I, I i'm kind of like in the middle of that i'm kind of around nine cents per kilowatt hour so i'm not like you know mining farm commercial electric two cents four cents electrical i wish but i'm a simple home miner just like the rest of you guys right and I, I'm not a huge miner. Some of you guys think I am a huge miner, but I'm not. I'm honestly very small time. Okay, very, very small time compared to a lot of you guys out there. So I guess to end off, to conclude, what is your guys' strategy right now for buying GPUs and why? 
are you doing it based on the efficiency and you don't really you know care about the initial cost of buying the gpu or do you care about the dollar per hash okay so you know depending on how much you spend that money on you know you're wondering when you can break even or roi whatever as fast as you can that makes sense for you and you know you have the math down for that then maybe that's your type of strategy but maybe there's people out there the strategy is about efficiency or maybe you try to do both and at this moment if we're looking at both it's like yeah the a2000 is definitely one of the best but again there is some food for thoughts about that the uh six gigabyte vram okay but uh if mining ethereum on them for the next 10 months and they'll break even before then then so be it so be it okay guys a lot of stuff i talked about in this video please let me know your thoughts about anything that i talked about if i was wrong about anything numbers like i said these are all just numbers i've i've just been seeing recently and uh, I know a lot of people can achieve different hash rate numbers with different GPUs. Uh, but I would love to know your guys' thoughts and uh, just all that stuff. Are you guys buying A2000s? Oh, I bought a few A2000s, okay? So, uh, and uh, maybe some A4000s coming soon, okay? So stay tuned for those builds. That's going to be fun. All right, my friends. If you made it to the end, I'm going to give away two packs of risers. I just received a whole batch, bunch of risers. Just mention if you are in, uh, let's say, USA or Canada. I'm only going to do that within North America. So just, you know, secretly put USA or Canada. Don't, don't you know, don't say thank you for the risers. You know, give a different comment, but just, you know, kind of hide the USA or Canada. I, I just want to see the true people that actually watch to the very end. That's, that's, that's who I care about. So I, I care about everyone who watches my videos, but ones that watch my videos fully put that comment in guys risers thank you guys have a good one peace out